Okay, so we've seen how the quartz renew works for the traditional quartz repair. Now we're going to move into some other uses. It's not just for quartz. Uh, this particular job that we're on is uh, a hazing of an engineered marble. This product happens to be uh, Corella and uh, it's just a general hazing typically like softer marbles get from hard water or uh, very light chemical burning things like that. Uh, in this case I think we have uh, actually a lot of uh, alkaline stains uh, there's a lot of dullness around where the soap container is and uh, we're going to remove that pretty easily. Uh, we're going to start with the Sorma pads. Um, the 800 if we need it, but probably in this case we'll just go to 15, start with 1500 and we'll go right to the resin polish and that will finish the job. So uh, very easy, very quick and uh, get uh, great results. So here's our overall area that we're doing the repair in. Just a typical double ball vanity and a lot of the dullness is noticed uh, in the center between the two bowls. And I've already done a strip uh, of, of the countertop just to show you the difference because the whole area was really dull uh, when I got here. Um, so if you can uh, pick up on the light, the, the clarity of the lights you'll notice that uh, at the front edge you can see it gets very dull and the lights almost go away and as we move in to the area that I just repaired you can see the clarity of the lights uh, changes significantly okay so so I just did a small strip just to give you an example of what it looks like and I'll show you what we're going to work on next as you can see it kind of gets dull again, the lights really get dim as you can see right there the outline of the soap container that was there and if you really look closely you can actually see how it's dull here and where the container has been sitting is pretty much the original finish right there Okay, so we're going to blend all that out uh, just to show you an example of how effective this can be and how quickly it can be done. Okay, so as with the quartz, uh, the Sora pads run at a higher RPM and in this case we're going to start with the 1500 which would be the last step with quartz but because of the softness of marble uh, the 1500 will, will likely do what I need to in this case it's a fairly light uh, uh, hazing in this top. So uh, run around 1800 RPMs and dry and this will cut this uh, down pretty quickly I'm guessing uh, probably within a minute or so. Okay so we finished the uh, 1500 polishing to remove the damage on the top and we'll just kind of go in the same direction so you can follow the results here. Uh, so if you watch the uh, look at the clarity of the lights, this is the original band that I had repaired. Okay, right in there. And as we go back, you can see the the first set of lights, the clarity in the re original repair, and the back set of lights uh, is completely dulled out, and that's the basically what the whole top looked like when I got here. Okay, so. Now you can see both bands of lights are dull and then we're moving into the repair the repair I just did with the 1500 and you can see through here it gets you know we've got some swirl marks uh, it's perfectly normal that's from the the pad they are fairly aggressive pads and remember these are dry so there's our mark there's our white mark in the back we were directly behind that Okay, so we have, a, we have a good sheen level at this point um, and the resin polish will definitely take it from here. Okay, so we're going to finish off the repair with the resin polish now. And like I mentioned earlier, we go to a 7 inch backer pad. We have a 6, six and a half inch foam pad. So this is the green cutting pad that we use with the resin polish. And I highly recommend when you're working in a house because this does have a tendency to splatter. 
Uh, definitely uh, do your due diligence and protection to keep all of your splatter contained as much as possible. Uh, as you can see, I have my film, my masking uh, up on the back here. Uh, the aluminum tape works great as far as uh, building a, a stop gap for splatter coming back at you. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty well protected, so I don't have to worry about getting it on the walls or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this, and I uh, expect this area to probably take me another five minutes, and I'll be done. Okay, so we're finished with our vanity repair, and I'll give you one last shot here of the clarity that we have compared to before. See both strips of light, a lot of clarity all the way back. There's our white mark back here, just as a point of reference. Okay. Look at the clarity we have there. Our stains are gone. We've got a great shine.